recorded a podcast episode but it has a lot of background noise and wondering how to remove it then this video is for you in today's video i'll show you two simple ways you could remove background noise from your audio hello and welcome to tpu tv this is dilip if you don't know me then i'm a blogger podcaster and affiliate marketer and this is a channel where i share a lot of simple practical and implementable podcasting tips that you can use to get started with your own podcast and if you're new to podcast and want to get started with your own show then you might want to join my free course on how to get started with your own podcast you'll be able to find a link to the course in the description box below you can also visit the podcastinguniversity.com forward slash free dash guide and join the course in today's video i'm going to share with you two simple ways you could remove background noise from your audio now it is not always possible for us to record an audio in a very silent background with a lot of soundproofing done because a lot of us usually record our podcast episodes in the corner of our bedroom like a setup that i have here and when we do that it becomes very difficult for us to eliminate all of the background noise even if you record at midnight you will still find some background noise coming into your audio so it becomes important for us to eliminate or remove that background noise from the audio because i follow and recommend a very simple audio editing process and one of the things that you need to do in your audio editing is to remove the background noise so in this video i'll show you two simple ways you could remove background noise i'm going to use audacity which is my preferred tool for audio editing and i'll show you these two simple ways that we use to remove background noise from our audio so Let's go on to my desktop and see what are these two methods and how do you remove background noise using these two simple methods. Okay, so here I am on my uh, desktop and you can see I have Audacity open and this is the audio from my uh, latest episode which is episode number 127. And you can see here that this uh, audio is pretty clean. There isn't a lot of background noise you can see here. There isn't a lot of background noise but there is some little noise here and there uh, which actually doesn't impact the audio too much but i would still want to do a background noise removal on uh, this one so uh, this first method is pretty simple it's a very simple one click tool that audacity has which will help you remove the background noise but what you will notice here is that i have left some space Space blank here before I actually started the recording so in order for this technique to work I would recommend that you leave about 6 to 10 seconds of blank space before your recording so before you actually start talking in uh, your recording I would say that you leave some space without talking or just just a blank space so that your microphone records the background noise what we are going to do is we are going to use this as the profile to remove the background noise from this audio irrespective of it being a monologue or a guest interview i would recommend that you start talking only after about seven to ten seconds of starting the recording now with that first of all what you do is you select this particular area from where you want the background noise profile and then you go to effect and go to noise removal and repair and click on noise reduction and you see something called as get noise profile here so you click on get noise profile and what audacity will do is it will get a profile from this particular area now it will record the background noise from here which is what it is going to use to remove the background noise from the entire audio now once that is done what you do is you select this entire audio go back to effect again noise removal and repair and click on noise reduction and now you're not going to click on get noise profile instead you're going to use this bottom option here and you can see here the settings that i've used noise reduction at about 25 decibel sensitivity at about 5 and frequency smoothing at about 0 i would recommend that you use this setting because this is the optimal setting to remove background noise from your audio so i would recommend that you use this and what you do is you click on ok and audacity will say applying noise reduction and it will apply the noise reduction feature to this particular audio and remove the background noise and once it is done you will be able to see that most of these places uh, are all smoothened out and the background noise is removed now it is that simple it's just a one click solution if you're using audacity it is pretty easy to remove the background noise unlike a lot of the other tools out there so you can use this 
to remove background noise if the background noise is not too loud or is not too disturbing now that is one method now there is another situation where a lot of times what happens is uh, there is a considerable amount of background noise and uh, that background noise kind of interferes into the audio into your audio where you're talking this noise also interferes into the audio and in that situation this technique might not be very effective it might not remove the background noise efficiently so i have another audio here which is from our other podcast and you can see here this is the audio from the other podcast and you can see here there are two channels two mono channels there are two speakers talking and there are two mono channels and i'm going to use this audio and show you what is the technique that i follow now this is not a background noise removal in fact it is a background noise suppression technique so what we are going to do is we are going to use this technique to suppress the background noise now you can see here in this particular audio there is quite a lot of background noise you can see here there is a lot of disturbance now all of this disturbance is going to go into the audio as well so what do we do how do we remove this so what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a very soft and subtle background music and what i will do is i'll use that background music and i will reduce the volume of the background music to a level where it is audible only a little it doesn't interfere into this uh, audio of the speakers and it plays in a very subtle way in the background and when that happens it suppresses the background noise in this particular audio so i'll quickly show you how i do it now i have two different audio two speakers talking here and two different channels i first want to combine both of these into one single audio in order to use that technique so what i'll do is let me mix and render it to a new track and i'll get one new track with a combined audio and then i'll show you that technique now i have a combined track with both the audio let me mute this and minimize these now i'll import a background music that i'm going to use in this particular audio let me quickly import the background music and then i'll come back now you can see here i've imported the background music here now the background music is only about 2 minutes and 30 seconds it doesn't cover the entire audio so what i'll do is i'll just duplicate it to make it cover the entire audio so let me quickly do that i have the background music duplicated across the audio what i'll first do is let me quickly go and join this so that it is a one single clip and now i have one single background music here now in order for me to use this feature which is called as auto duck in audacity what i'll have to do is i'll have to drag this and place this above the audio that i am editing which means this is my audio file and i need to place this background music just above the audio file that i am editing now what i do is i select this and i go to effect volume and compression and i click on auto duck you can see here this is basically the auto duck window and there are a few settings out here i wouldn't recommend changing anything other than the duck amount now the duck amount will depend upon how loud your audio file is but i would recommend keeping it at around 23 to 24 so let me keep it at 23 you can see here it is at about 23 this is a good amount so at 23 what will happen is this background music will be so soft that you might not even be able to hear it and you'll be able to hear the background music only at places where there is no audio which means where you're not talking or your guest is not talking the background music will be audible but for the rest of the place it will be completely silent as in it will be very low you might not even be able to hear it if you want it to be a little more louder you can reduce this maybe keep it at around 17 and you'll be able to hear a very subtle background music playing so let me quickly show you how this happens it will say applying auto duck once it is done now you can see that the auto duck has been applied and you can see that these places where there is a uh, an audio audio of a speaker this background music is pretty subtle and wherever there is no audio of the speaker you can see the background music is a little louder so now if you play at this particular place you'll be able to hear there the background music is a little louder and then it becomes softer where the audio starts so that is how you apply auto duck and if you want this background music to be even more softer like what i said what you can do is you can go to 
the uh, a duck amount and you can decrease it further you can take it down to maybe 23 and then the you might not even be able to hear the background music but it will still be playing in the background but what happens is when it is playing in the background it in a way suppresses or uh, eliminates the background noise that is there in your audio now this is a very good technique if you think that you're not able to remove the background noise from your audio now another option now a lot of people don't might say that they don't want this background music to be playing even at places where uh, there is a blank space where there is no audio so they might not want to do that so there is another technique that i would suggest which is by using this envelope tool so what you do is you click on the envelope tool you go here and place a marker here and another one here and then you go to the end of the audio and you place another marker maybe here and another one here and then we reduce this like this so that the audio is pretty low now let us do it here as well here also we reduce it to the minimal and you can see here now that the audio is pretty low here you can reduce it even further if you want so that the background music is almost negligible let us do that at this end as well you can see here i've reduced it to the minimal let us reduce it a little more and now if we play you'll be able to hear the audio is pretty low you can reduce it as much as you want you can expand this and reduce it even further if you want so that uh, the audio is pretty low and you can see here we've reduced it even further so you can reduce it as much as you want uh, just so that it o doesn't overshadow your audio and even in this situation what happens is this background music will suppress the background noise in your audio and thereby you know in a way it will eliminate the background noise and help keep your audio pretty cleaner and this is a technique that i've seen a lot of podcasters use in fact a lot of video creators also use this uh, they've been using background music in their video a subtle background music in the in the background and you won't even realize that there is a background music that is there it's a good technique to suppress the background music and eliminate it from your audio you can Give it a try and let me know your thoughts by commenting below. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick, simple tip to remove background noise using Audacity. I hope you found value in it and I hope it will help you in your podcast audio editing. If you have any questions around podcasting or around audio editing using Audacity, you can drop me a note using the comment section below. Go ahead, comment in there and I will respond to all of your questions. And if required, I'll make a video to answer that question. And if you're new to podcasting, then you might want to join my free podcasting course on how to start a podcast in less than 10 days. You'll be able to find a link in the description box below. Go ahead, sign up for the course and join the course today itself. That is all that I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then do give this video a thumbs up because that helps others find this video and it will help them in their podcasting journey. And if you're new here, then you might want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that you stay updated with all of the latest episodes that I release. That is all that I have for today's video. I'll be back again the next week with another interesting tip around podcasting. Until then, keep watching TPU TV. This is goodbye from Dilip. You all have a wonderful rest of the week.